Okay, so in this one we're looking at um, writing in scientific notation. Uh, now, scientific notation is really, really useful when you're dealing with two kinds of things. We use scientific notation for uh, really big numbers. And we also use it for really uh, small numbers. Uh, so let's say, for instance, you were talking about the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Uh, hopefully you, you know the, the distance from the Earth to the Sun is a really, really, really huge number. Uh, lots and lots of zeros on the end of it. Uh, that's going to be a real pain to write out. So we've got a, new, uh, a scientific way of writing it out that makes it a lot easier. Uh, same with really, really small numbers. If you were talking about the size of atoms, let's say... Uh, that would be like 0. 0.0000, lots and lots of zeros, one millimetres big. Um, that's going to be just a real pain to have to write out heaps and heaps of zeros. So again, we've got a nice scientific notation way of writing this stuff. Uh, Alright, so let's just try it out uh, so we can jump straight into it. Um, now the number 610, it's not a particularly big number, but it's a good one to get us started with here. Now, to write 610 in scientific notation, you take the decimal point, which is here, usually, and you move it until there's just one number before it. So, in this case, 610 will become 6.10, or just 6.1, because we don't need to write the zero in there. Now, it becomes 6.1 times... 10 squared. Uh, 10 squared because we moved the decimal place two places. Uh, now, we, I talked about moving the decimal place two places, but what I'm really doing is multiplying by 100. Um, multiplying by 100. So this says 6.1 times 10 squared, which is 100. And 6.1 times 10 squared is 610. Okay, so I'll just rewrite that so you can see what's going on. We're just saying that 610 is equal to 6.1 times 10 to the power of 2. Okay, we might try it with a, a really big number here. Uh, so if we were to do 46 million, that's what that says, 46, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, you can see that that's a bit of a pain to write out. So we can write it in scientific notation. Might just, um, oops, just grab a different color here. Okay, so you can see that I can move the decimal place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. That's going to leave me with 4.6 times... 10 to the power of, it's always 10. Uh, now, 10 to the power of what? Now, it depends on how many spaces I've moved that decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've moved it 7 spaces. So, 4.6 times 10 to the power of 7, which is essentially just uh, 10 million. Uh, 4.6 times 10 million is going to equal uh, 46 million. Uh, so if you're asked to write in scientific notation, that's all you're doing. You're turning 46 million, you're moving all those decimals to get 4.6, and then you're getting 10 to the power of 7. Now, I said that we can use it for really big numbers. Obviously, 610 wasn't very big, but it's a good start. Um, 46 million, that's a, a bigger number, so we can use it for that. We can use it for much bigger numbers as well. We can use also use it for very, very small numbers. So if you look at this one, it's a very, very small number. 0 0.0067. Now, if we're going to write that in scientific notation, you can see that I need to move the decimal place the other way. 1, 2, 3. That makes 6.7. Oops, that shouldn't be times, that should be 6.7. So 6.7 times 10. Now, it's not 10 to the power of 3, because that would be 10 times 1,000. 
because we're moving the decimal place to the right, it needs to be 10 to the power of, oops, 10 to the power of negative 3. We moved three spaces, but we moved to the right. So if you see a negative there, it means a really small number. So 6.7 times 10 to the negative 3 is a small number, um, whereas 4.6 times 10 to the power of positive 7, that's a big number. Um, just doing one last one here, we have 0 0.00002. 0.00002. Now I can rewrite that by moving the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the right. So that's going to be 2.0. It's nice to just put your 2.0 in when you're dealing with scientific notation. Times 10 to the power of, I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times times 10 to the negative 5 because it's moving to the right. Uh, now you just need to be careful here. Obviously it's going to be uh, a little bit challenging because you're moving from big numbers to little numbers or little numbers to big numbers. Um, just practice these, uh, writing these in scientific notation. Uh, just remember that if it's a small number, if it's a small decimal, then it's going to have a negative power. If it's a really big number like this, it's going to have a uh, positive. Okay, that's um, writing numbers in scientific notation.